morning everybody welcome back it's Gina uh, we are doing the five on a dime challenge this month and um, so this month uh, Martina gave us our five items to use which were book page fabric washi tape paper scraps and a mixed media product of our choice so this is what I came up with um, this is a pocket for a journal, and it's got the book page there, a bit of washi tape here. The mixed media I used was gesso, and then I also came back and used watercolor paper and cut out these uh, wildflower die cuts. And then there's my fabric. So paper scraps were here. So that's my five items and how I came up with it. So I thought we would just do a really quick uh, process video here and you can see how I achieved it. Now I'm going to do it slightly different, but for the sake of time I went ahead and just took some book pages, any book that um, you want. I like to double mine just because they're too flimsy on their own, <clears throat> which is another reason stitching them is, is nice because that holds them together. And then the pocket part of it, you can get away with one sheet because if I've tried it in the past. If I've used more than one, it can get a little bit bulky because keeping in mind, this is going to be <clears throat> attached to uh, an existing journal page so you're getting quite a bit of bulk in there so with this pocket I just double up a thick page fold it over stitch it first and then come back and stitch the three um, sides <clears throat> so let's just jump in I'll set this over here the first thing that we will do is get some gesso on here so that can be drying and I may have to stop the video and uh, do a bit of drying, but I'll try to do this in one go. So I've kind of already thought paper scraps, I had this piece left over, so I think I'm going to use bits of this, probably not the butterfly, but um, I could decide that in the end, but I think probably just tearing a bit of that. So first thing you want to do is just get some gesso, or I did, you know, you don't have to do this part, but if you want it to come out the way I've done it, then this is what you would want to do. Just going to slap that on there. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because I want to see some of the words <coughs> from the book page, but um, and the other thing is I did come back with a bit of watercolor while I had it out doing those flowers. So let's just set that to the side and I may have to heat that, uh, hit it with some, uh, with the heat gun if it's not ready in time. So I'll just clean that brush a little bit. Okay, I took some of the Sizzix, these are Sizzix wildflower die cuts. And I went ahead and cut some of these out in advance. And just looking at the page, I think I'm going to try to pull this pink out. And maybe a bit of the turquoise or some pale green. Uh, let me get my other. I've got a couple of wa uh, watercolor. And this one might actually have a better color. This one's a bit of a, like a metallic, but I think I might use, I'll use that for sure on the, the leaf, but for the, let me see, for this I'll, I'll try to use a bit of a soft turquoise if I can. So this is what I was talking about. These are just really inexpensive watercolors. If you're in the UK, you can get these at um, Hobbycraft. 
and then I believe in the US I spotted them at uh, Michael's. So this one I'm just going to give that a little bit of the... Okay, so I cut these out. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while. I cut these out on watercolor paper and um, because I've been thinking about it, I've been using up my cardstock supply but I thought oh you know last night I was thinking uh, oh I'd really like to play around with um, some watercolor on that so that's where I, I dug that out so with the metallic what I had used was um, I like this lime green that's a really pretty shade <coughs> for the leaf and then I did come back on the other one and tone it down a little bit with some ink and I don't know I'll probably do that on this one I'll have to see when it all starts to come together and I just mixed some different greens in until I got what I liked Colors all muddled up. Let me try that one. Just want to get a little bit more of that turquoise. Actually, that's that's not the right color either. I'm going to try to match that up with that a little bit better. I'm really enjoying these challenges because, uh, particularly this month, because I didn't know what we were going <clears> to. <throat> you know, what the items would be. So it's it's really, I'm enjoying this a lot. I hope you guys will jo uh, join in with us and um, post what you've done because it's it's really nice to us to see, you know, what everybody else is doing. Okay, guys, I am going to have to pause this. I'm going to dry everything, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we've had some tough technical difficulties. I thought the camera was on, I was yapping away, and uh, it wasn't. So, I dried this, and then I came back with a bit of, you know, turquoise, the metallic. So, it's got a nice little shimmer, and I'm, then I just, I just really lightly whitewashed that. But now with the flowers, what I did here is, while I was drying, I was picking up paint from this mat. And I'm no expert by any means, but, you know, you play around and whatever works for you. But I like that effect because flowers aren't perfect in nature. Well, they are perfect, but, you know, your color... I wanted to have some depth to it, so <clears throat> while I was drying it, I just dipped a little bit of water in to like the yellow, and I kept just tapping it and hitting it at, with the heat at the same time. Um, and I'll just see if I can add a little bit of this gold. And you'll you know have to excuse the sound, but. Um, I'm going to have to have the heat gun on while I'm doing this, so let me get these out of the way. So I'm going to see if I can add a little bit of that gold color to that. You see how I'm just kind of tapping it? Because I'm just trying really to just get a bit more color into the flower and then you know it looks like I may have went a bit too much so I'm going to try to come back with a bit more yellow now and see if I can you know I'm not looking for perfection but I just think it it's going to give it a bit more depth if I do this I'll put a little bit of yellow down into the leaves and stem as well 
So, I mean, there's no uh, technique really other than I just keep kind of bouncing around until I get the coloring that I like because I do like for it to be kind of um, muddled, if that if that's a term. You see that? I just think it has a lot more interest in this in particular, if I was doing a card, I would definitely want to add some depth to that because I think that's going to be really, really pretty. Um, and I just want to put a bit more of this gold within that. Um, now that's too much there, but just a bit more in there to tone that down. Because I want it to all kind of work together with the same, you know, I want the colors to kind of be in each of these. I don't know if I'll use them all. We'll see. I may end up um, just using a couple of them, but just hit it with a little more heat. It's just fun to play around with something different, you know, and just try it. If you don't like it, it's a piece of paper, you know, you can chuck it in the trash. So, okay, let me get my space, I'm getting scatterbrained again. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to set those to the side. That pink, I'm not too sure. I feel like that's just too much, so <clears throat> I may have to alter that. But the next thing I want to do before we get too far is I need to get some paper on here because then I can decide what colors. I definitely am liking some of these on this side, so I'm just going to tear it because I like the wording on that. I think that's going to be nice. Um, let me get a bit of this color. I'm not wanting that butterfly. The butterfly is just a bit too much. So that's all I'm doing, you know. Everybody's got some of the scrap laying around from their digitals. or um, You can use scrapbooking paper, but I would recommend the really thin stuff like you can get at <coughs> Hobbycraft. You know you can buy those paper pads that it's just a little bit heavier than copy paper. That's the sort of thing I'm thinking. Okay, well I can already see. If I put that, that's not even going to show, so I am just may as well use that on the bottom. So let me just get this down, and then we can start deciding what else we're going to want to put on here. So I think I'm going to get a bit of this that off because there's no wording on that. And then I think I'll just come across. I'm certain I'm going to go with my uh, fabric along that side so I want to make sure whatever I put isn't going to get covered up when I put my little fabric ruffle. Okay, so let's just recheck. I've got my book page, some scrap paper, I've done the mixed media, now I need a little bit of this washi. I was wondering about some of this, I kind of like that, that's the um, <coughs> because it's got a little bit of that turquoise in it, so I think I'm going to go with that. And maybe just... Okay, let me, let me just stop. Backtrack. Because see, that's... <coughs> it's got just little bits of that color. So I'm going to pull that out. This 
is definitely got to be toned down. I'm not liking that. And I don't know, to be honest, it might not even be necessary because you've got just that little bit of pink. Okay, let me grab some fabric. So, as luck would have it, I've got a piece here, and I am going to now just very quickly make myself just a really loose ruffle, and I'll be back. So I'm, I'm going to the machine just to do a ruffle here, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, guys, <clears throat> I went to the machine and just did a kind of a, <clears throat> a rustic ruffle. And what I mean by that is you can see it's not a perfect ruffle. Whereas the ruffles that I sell in my shop, I, I like to be really perfect with them. So this one's just kind of rustic looking. And that one I, th I think I, I'm not going to probably be using. So oh, I, I am really liking that, I think. Okay, so if that's going to be there, I've got to work in my washi tape. I think I'm going to put it just there just to kind of break that up a little bit. Let's see if I can get this. I haven't used this. I, oh, I'm just the world's worst at... Um, putting things away <clears throat> and then when it gets put away in my drawer I just totally forget I mean I've got three things full of the washi tape and uh, I just tend to forget it so this has been really a nice challenge for me I'm sorry I'm struggling here guys so I'm just going to have to try to make conversation while I'm doing this because this is so annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really, I like it when, you know, challenges like this, it, it makes you stop and think, oh yeah, I do have washi tape. Well, how come I'm not using it? Because I am, I've got tunnel vision. I, um, if it's not within my little radius. I tend to forget about it. Alright, so I think I'm just going to put it there just to break that up a bit. Okay, so the other thing I did on this one, and I really like it, I just ran a stitch down each of those because I think it, if you can see it just adds more texture to the um, the page and more interest. All right, before I do that, let me go ahead and put some ink on here and see how we like that. Where's my ink? There it is. It's, everything's getting kind of buried. Kind of tone this down a little bit more because I like the fact it looks old but it's still got that little bit of uh, shimmer from the metallic watercolor so that's kind of a cool effect and then these I'm going to give those a little bit of age Oh man, I could so see that on an autumn greeting card. Ooh, I may have to. I oh, wish I had more time. I really wish I could figure out a way to not need sleep. Because then I might possibly begin to get done all of the things I want to do. Because I am so thinking autumn greeting cards. These would be amazing. That would be so pretty on like a craft background. So I may have to find some time to do that. Alright, so what I'm going to do now 
is just position this probably around the same area. And the other reason I decided to stitch this is I didn't want anything to interfere with, you know, getting things in and out of that pocket because um, I'm going to have the ruffle just off of the edge there, but I just kind of feel like it kind of tacks everything down so that when you're getting things in and out, it's not going to interfere. So let me run to the machine. I don't know. This is bugging me. This pink is bugging me now. Okay. Sorry guys, but it, it is, it's just one of those things I'm not happy with that. I've got to do something with that because it's it's not really going with this. What could I do? Maybe maybe have him. I'm thinking let's just try it. It's a piece of paper. Let's see if that's what I need. Because that pink is not working now. If I had pulled the pink out in the flower, yeah. But now it's it's just a bit too oof. And I don't like stuff that's like well, gaudy. <laughs> I'll just say it, gaudy. All right. Now I'm sorry. I've got to. I gotta just stop and see. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm even thinking, let me just get a little bit of really, really light. <clears throat> I've got this weird thing. And it, it's almost, it must have been a tablecloth or something, but you see, it's almost like a, a super wide cheesecloth, and I'm loving that, working with this stuff. And I think I got this for about... I don't know, like 20, 20 pence or something. And um, this is just a, it's nice because it's, it's not as fine as the, um, the cheesecloth. Yeah, I like, I like that. I hope, I hope I haven't gone too far with this, guys. You're probably sitting there thinking, oh my God, she's went, it's skinning so gaudy. <laughs> Um, but I do like working with this. I'm, I'm going to keep my eye out for another one of these. Because at first glance, I thought, ooh, what am I, you know, I kind of overlooked it. And then I thought, well, actually, if I just start cutting that up and using it, and that has been so useful within the my projects. kind of at an angle there. I'll tell you the other thing I might do when I go to the machine. Once my Fabri-Tac is dried, because I have no idea why I used Fabri-Tac on that. I think it's because I was distracted. So, Because, um, yeah, I could have just used a inexpensive glue. But once that's dried, what I'm going to do is stop the camera let this dry and then I think I'm going to do a little stitch around the butterfly just to bring him out just a little bit more. And then I'm going to stitch this and hopefully we'll be close to being done guys. So be right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys up close <clears throat> how that's looking. I mean, I'm not great on the machine. I, I admit it, but I'm happy with how that's come out. It's just got a lot of interest, I think, that page does. But I feel like this one really needs... Um, i pick this up. This little uh, saying. So I'm going to put that right there. Because I like that. I think that. I think it needed that. And then this will be ready to go into a journal. And we will just very quickly, I just 
for my own sake, I need to go over my little list again. So, I've got the book page here, fabric, washi, paper scraps, and then the mixed media would have been the um, watercolor and gesso. So there is my take on this month's Five on a Dime Challenge. There's two very different looks. Um, but I think these are look, <coughs> excuse me, are going to look really nice on a journal page. I'm excited to put these in. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Check out everybody else um, who are in the challenge because, wow, have I got some super talented ladies um, participating. And it's so fun to go from each channel because everybody has a completely different take on it. Everybody's got their own style, but um, you'll learn so much from uh, the gals that are, are participating in this. And do please uh, join in, guys. I'm on Instagram. I'm here, as you know. And so just leave me um, your channel or drop a picture onto Instagram. And um, I'm also on Facebook, so you can always message me there and, uh, and put it in some of the Facebook groups. So we appreciate you guys so much. I hope everybody's having a great uh, week, and I will be back very soon with some new projects. Take care. Bye.